Atlanta United Fan TV, AJ here with your player ratings. And guys, what a win it was in Orlando City. It feels even sweeter when we go to Orlando and get three points, which we've done every single time. I know it's two times, but hey, guys, it feels so good to say that. But guys, this was a very, very comprehensive match. I feel like we played well from beginning to end. Uh, we controlled most of the match while they had some spurts. It, uh, it definitely felt like Atlanta controlled when we needed to. We tro controlled both ends of the pitch. And, uh, you know, the goal conceded was kind of a, a freak thing to happen. It was a badly, um, badly controlled parry. And, you know, what can you do? The, this stuff happens sometimes. But let's get right into the ratings. So Alec Can, he gets a 7.5 for me. Uh, I thought he his return into the starting 11 was very, very good. Um, you know, for someone who hasn't played since last July, since Brad Guzan essentially came into the team, I mean, that's, uh, you know, he really stepped up to the plate. And, uh, you know, his knee and Mitch Hildebrand's knee, hopefully uh, that's not an issue going forward because uh, we were definitely all thinking Paul Christensen was probably going to be the one to start but uh you know the biggest surprise in this lineup was Alec Can and I thought he was uh, a lot better than uh, we saw him last year especially on corners especially on uh balls into the box he was a lot more commanding and it was great to see a little bit of progression from him uh it seems like Probably the training every single day with a, uh, a player like Brad Guzan has really, really helped him. Now let's move on to Greg Garza. Greg Garza, for me, he receives a 7. Uh, he was pretty good today. He was uh, going forward a good bit, and he won that penalty uh, by controlling that ball from Miguel Almiron into the box. So uh, he gets, you know, he deserves plaudits for that, but... Uh, I think he was a little bit sliding around all over the place. It wasn't quite, uh, you know, the the performance that we are used to seeing from Garza uh, going forward and backwards. But I think uh, still a solid performance from him. So he receives a seven from me. Uh, moving on to LGP. LGP gets a an eight from me. Um, he wasn't quite the man of the match performance that we got in <laughs> at the Benz uh, against Sporting KC, but. Uh, you know, um, he was very solid, um, you know, made the tackles when he needed to. Um, and, you know, he, uh, he prevented from his side, um, you know, anything that uh, was a really major chance for Orlando City. Um, now let's move on to our captain, Michael Parkhurst. Michael Parkhurst also receives an eight for me. Uh, he... You know, he does what he does. He uh, shepherds that back line, uh, especially with Miles Robinson in the three-man back line. He was doing his thing. And, um, you know, uh, Miles Robinson has talked about how uh, Parkey, you know, is the person to uh, really coach him on the field. So you can see that again today. He was, uh, you know, uh, he did – the captain thing to do, and he was uh, very solid at the back. But uh, moving on to Miles Robinson, uh, you know, it's his defensive actions uh, on a large part are, uh, you know, very, very solid. We, um, you know, he, his two starts have been very, very good wins. So um, I don't think it's a coincidence. And, um, you know, unfortunately, he gave up, the, you know, he was in part probably responsible for that goal uh you know his clearance wasn't the cleanest which led to justin miriam slotting it away but um you know i think uh there's a lot to build on here so he gets a seven and a half for me uh moving over to julian gressel uh gressel didn't have the best game um i think the link between he and miles robinson still needs a little bit of work but uh, it's, it's getting there. He, uh, he put some, 
awesome crosses in again. Um, they just didn't end up uh, on the head or on the foot of somebody to score. But um, and I felt like you know the uh, the actions coming back as well were uh, very very good. So he receives a seven and a half from me. Now moving on to our midfield. Ooh, the uh, these guys bossed the game. I feel like these guys, uh, you know, Jeff Lorenowitz, he receives an eight and a half from me. He was doing his Jeffy thing and, uh, you know, putting tackles in, controlling the midfield, uh, really shielding that back line. Man, uh, you know, couldn't ask for more from this guy. So eight and a half for Jeff Lorenowitz. Uh, now on to Darlington Nagby. Whew, man, he, you know, he doesn't, get the plot it's always because he doesn't score the goals he doesn't get the assists uh but you know he's a guy who you know he is so so important to this team he's controlling possession he is doing a lot of the defensive work as well and arguably a little bit more safely than carlos carmona although you know albeit they're different type of players but uh you know nagby's not having to put in um, a last ditch tackle, but he is tracking each of the the, uh, the his counterparts very very well. So for me, he also receives an eight and a half. Now moving on to Miguel Amiron, our playmaker. Uh, he set up the first penalty that Garza uh, won in their box. Um, you know he was all over the pitch. He was doing the defensive actions. He was uh, recovering the ball deep into our half and then, you know, just sprinting forward, causing havoc and really backpedaling Orlando City's defense. You know, um, I think he he is making that incisive pass. He's really making uh, Orlando City, their frailties, uh, really, really known. So uh, in this match, he was... Very, very stellar. I uh, I give him an eight and a half. He was so, so good. Of course, he didn't, didn't score a goal or an assist, but, I mean, he, uh, you know, he was controlling the match completely. So, uh, you know, he's always up there. Uh, if he's not man of the match, he's playing nearly like the man of the match. Uh, now, moving to our second striker, Ezekiel Barco. You know, whew, uh, what else can we say about this kid? He is just, you know, uh, the way he can just, man, the lower center of gravity, you know, he's just dribbling around everybody. And uh, he created his own goal there. Uh, he gave the, the through ball to uh, Garza, who gave a nice, sumptuous, uh, low cross to Barco, who did that little late man run and uh, he hit it with the outside of his foot. Oh, and what a finish. What a finish from the kid. Uh, we need to remind you that uh, he's a teenager. Wow. Yes. So that's just more to come from this kid. He was just super clinical. Uh, and that's near, you know, the. Uh, near the. Uh, near the penalty spot where he, uh, he scored that. That's, uh, you know. You know, with a lot of traffic uh, and, uh, you know, one time, I mean, what a hit. And we already know, we already know it's going to be goal of the week. So, you know, guys, MLS, just hand it to us. It's fine. But uh, he receives a nine and a half from me. He was the mana match for me. Um, but now moving on to Joseph Martinez. He was uh, doing his thing. He, uh, you know... It's not, uh, you know, people are always, you know, slating him for being offside. It's, you have that whole thing. But, guys, you know, uh, I think you have to realize he is the leading goal scorer in the league. So, you know, with eight goals, come on, guys. You know, this man is doing the business. He is scoring at an elite rate. Whether it was a penalty or not, he's scoring these penalties. And, um, you know, the, the hop step uh, didn't work out for him last time, but it's definitely worked out for him this time. And uh, I feel like he was all over the pitch, and, you know, he was winning balls in the air. He was, uh, you know, you know maybe an errant pass here and there, but, you know, we're not asking Joseph Martinez to uh, to put in the, uh, the final ball every single time. So uh, for me, Joseph Martinez receives a nine. 
Now, to our traveling away fans, guys, you guys were so loud for the entire match. That was so awesome to hear. So you guys deserve a 10 from me. Uh, yeah, guys, you guys killed it. And you guys rep strong in Orlando City Stadium. Made them feel that, you know, our presence was there. Um, and, oh, yes, moving back to uh, Tata Martino, uh, you know, I think he receives a 10 for his tactics. Uh, he went with a 3-5-2. Um, you know, the, uh, the, the substitutes didn't have enough time to really make too much of an impact. But, uh, you know, he set up the team to win in Orlando. And I think it's shown that the 3-5-2 really solidifies a lot of things. The players are very, very comfortable in the system. So it really shows that, yeah, I mean, guys, uh, I think the 3-5-2 is uh, going to be a little bit more prevalent than uh, than Tata really wanted. But, uh, you know, if, it's work, if it works, why change it? So, you know, that's the way we got to do it. So guys, that's our player ratings video. What'd you think? Leave your player ratings in the comments below. But guys, remember to subscribe if you haven't already, smash a like, and share this video because it really does help us a lot. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.